welcome to the Las Vegas Motor Speedway in Las Vegas, Nevada for the first ever smoke production race here, the Diet Mountain Dew 100. My name is Ozzy No Rudolph Jones, and we're going to live Friday to Friday coverage of today's race once again in 14 TV HD. As I said, this is the first ever race at Las Vegas. We were originally supposed to go to the Auto Club Speedway, but you saw those wrecks in practice under the fence. The fence requires repairs. So we couldn't go there. Tristan Stern, the rookie who has been really outlasting his brother thus far, and except for Castle Gorge, in which Ben got a uh, fourth place finish, I believe it was. And Tristan will start on the pole. Aaron Aldridge will start second. Sean Hill third. CJ Sorensen fourth. Who will CJ will be going into Action Racing's newest uh, GNS program because the GNS will be the Mobile One GNS series or minor series I should say and will start sometime soon Bobby Sweats will start 5th Zach Miller will start 6th Wes McCall 7th, Noah Griffith 8th Justin Barra, another great qualifying run for this 22 I still don't understand how this car doesn't have sponsorship and Sean Galligan, the points leader has really been running away lately will start 10th, looking to successfully defend his title. Pace car is out. I mean, off the track. And green flag is out. Tristan Stern will lead us off. Green flag. Oops, sorry, wrong car. And Tristan immediately doing good. But Sean Hill, he will not be... NSPS next season so he's looking to do all he can to try and get a GNS ride or a part-time ride and Aaron Aldridge getting the run on the outside trying to get around the 23 CJ Sorensen helping him out there Aaron Aldridge will lead lap one but Stern coming back down to the low lane I think the high lane might work here We've been at tracks where, well, last week at Cashel Gorge, ooh, CJ Sorensen almost made contact with Aaron Aldridge there, and now he might be forcing him up the track. Three wide. Bobby Sweats, good run for Sean Hill, and CJ, ooh, was almost making contact with Tristan Stern there. And Stern getting a good run on the high lane, and he will start to pull ahead. Good run there by the 23, but gonna go all the way up playing chicken with the wall there Bobby Sweats pushing on the 97 and Justin Barra trying to move up into the top five I don't know if this ride will go full-time next season Austin Russell is slated to drive this for McCall Limbaugh Motorsports Aaron Aldridge might be handing off the 22 operation to uh, MLM and Sponsorships are lined up, and here comes Sean Hill for the lead. Bobby Sweat's trying to help him out here. He wants to... He fell way out of the top ten in points. And here, Justin Barra. I just can't even believe how well this unsponsored car has run this year. It should be able to get a sponsor by sometime. Hopefully sometime soon. Sean Hill looking for the lead. And Sam Limbaugh, who has really been improving lately... And it really sucks to say that because he's a great driver. And now it's Stern versus Hill. I'm surprised these two are low, are as low as they are in points. Kind of looks like they're slowing down. Mark Regelman sure is slowing down, and Chris Summers in another wreck. I see damage on that 19. What happened to those two? I mean, the pace car is out. What happened to Summers and Riggleman? Here we go. It has just been bad luck a palooza for Chris Summers the past couple weeks. He just gets slammed into the wall and slammed right into Mark Riggleman. And Troy Castle gets tangled up in a no... Oh, oh, just hit him there. But Troy Castle getting tangled up in another Chris Summers accident. I don't think he's really to blame for that, but he, he has been tangled up in... The wreck that Summers had at Castle Gorge, and this one here. 
Mark Riggleman, he's got extensive damage. I don't know about extensive, just a side scrape. But Summers might be stopped. Alright, here's the onboard view. He was going four wide here, but Tyler Speed slid up the track right into Summers. And then he just tapped Riggleman there and watched Drake Castle. Good void and center by Brendan McDowell, but watch this avoidance. Ooh, he, as you know, he just tapped him, but early on in that in that wreck, Troy Castle doing an excellent job. But Summers just can't catch a break ever since losing the points lead. Alright, so here we go for pit stops. Tristan Stern was your pull sitter. He's going to try and coast down to the uh, his first pit stall. And let's get a look at pit lane one. Somebody's still on the track. Oh, that's a pace car. That's stupid. So anyways, you can see those guys pulling into their pit stops right there. And Stern and Hill and these other guys got a long way to their pit stops. Aaron Aldridge into his pit. And this, I think that's John Dillon in the 34 going to gain a couple positions. CJ Sorensen looking to come out first. And he will. Then John Dillon versus Zach Moore. I think Dillon got it. And Jonathan Feld, who was really, really good in practice at California, I should say. He did really, really good. Actually, got second fastest. Zach Miller came out third, John Dillon second, and your new leader, C.J. Sorensen. We'll be right back after a little break. Uh-oh, trouble for our leader off, coming off pit road, C.J. Sorensen. Something's blown in there. We'll get you an update on that, but that will hand the lead off to Zach Miller. And lights are still on on the pace car. But C.J. Sorensen has blown something in that car. Not good for that action racing car. Oh, there he is. He's trying to get down there. And the paint lights are off. We'll be right back to get you back to the restart. Alright, so here we go. Ready to get back to the restart. Zach Miller did excellent in Season 2, which was last season. And got off to a little bit of a slow start here in Season 3. He's looking to change all that today. He got his first win at Coca-Cola and now looking to win it again here at Las Vegas. He's got his teammate John Dillon right behind him. Green flag, an excellent start for the 64. But the same thing happened to Tristan Stern. Got an excellent start and but everybody eventually caught up to him in about a half a lap. Jonathan Fell looking to get on by him. Bobby Sweats right behind Feld. Sweats fell way out of the top 10 as I said earlier. And he's looking to get back in there. The NOS Energy Drink Ford. And Tristan Stern trying to find his way by John Dillon. And he does. Now Stern still looking for his first win this season. After running a couple races towards the end of season two. We looked at him and thought this kid is going to make an impact here in... Um, SBS and well he got off to a slow start like Zach Miller the guy he's chasing down right now got off to a slow start but he's starting to charge back to the front and here we go he's starting to charge back to the front right here Miller's gonna have a tough time here where's our points leader Sean Galligan you he's way back in the field the only good thing about summer's wrecking Galligan is also doing bad, too. And where's Pa Fod? He's a, butt, he's a bit farther up, but still not doing too good, either. Back to the front. As Tristan Stern is still yet to pass um, Zach Miller. Bobby Sweat's looking to help out his Ford teammate. Not his teammate, but, you know, they're both Fords. So Fords stick together. And Dodge, who I believe hasn't won a race yet this season, uh, I don't think so. Looking to chase down Ford, some of their closest rivals. Ooh, Tristan almost made contact with the bumper there, and he might try to give him a nudge, force him up the track. What's he going to do? Bobby Sweats got a front row seat for this. 
and Justin Barra right back there. Might be trying to become the first unsponsored guy to win. And here comes Tristan Stern right in the inside. Bobby Sweat's right behind all this. Trying to look for some room. Looking for a second win of the season. Sweat's right in behind Miller. Here comes Tristan Stern. Stern doesn't have any kind of drafting help. And here he comes for the lead. Stern will have lap 14. Now Justin Barr going to try and join the mix. He will be trying to go full-time next season, starting his own team with Stefan Papias, who is splitting away from JCF Racing. Jonathan Feld actually told him he had to split. That wasn't Stefan's choice. But Tristan Stern has taken the lead. Now Bobby Sweat's up to second. And Sam Limbaugh, who has, my God, really been improving lately. His Klondike Mar might is not melted in the Las Vegas heat yet. But now he's trying to get on by Justin Barra. Bobby Sweats is up to second. Uh, it kind of looked like they were slowing down. And now Tristan Stern is trying to create a gap. And is he really showing off to his younger brother Ben Stern? Tristan was just hired by Ben last season. He would replace Devin Pietrowski in the 23, and so far he has done a great job of that because Pietrowski really just hasn't been able to show off his stuff in the 23, and now Bobby Sweats may have caught up to Tristan Stern. Ten laps to go when we come to the stripe. Ooh, I think it's going to be Stern versus Sweats here. We'll be right back. Ten to go right here at the stripe. Bobby Sweats looking to look a challenge. And we'll be right back. Ten to go.